Hello everyone and welcome back to Skyrim. We are back at the Sleeping Giant Inn and Delphine just said as I walked the door that she has a plan and I think we all know what that plan is. Though Gershner does not, he will soon find out. He'll probably not want to do it as much as I don't. But we're here. I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. Well, that didn't take long. I've been doing this a long time, remember? While the Thalmor have been looking for me, I've been watching them. Okay, so what's your plan? The Thalmor Ambassador, Ellen Wendt, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the Embassy, you can get away and find Ellen Wen's secret files. I have a contact inside the Embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wen's little party. Hmm. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Malborn. Any questions? Solitude. Oh, that may be a problem. Okay, who's this contact of yours? Are you sure we can trust him? Don't worry about Malborn. He's not a dangerous character like you. But he hates the Thalmor at least as much as I do. Not many people He's are. He's a wood elf. The Thalmor wiped out his family back in Balanwood during one of their purges that we never hear about. Luckily, they don't know who he really is, or he wouldn't be serving drinks at the ambassador's parties. Okay. And so what's your plan on getting me into the Let party? Let me handle that. You'll have a real invitation, don't worry. As long as you can act the part of a Thalmor toady, you'll get past the guards. Hmm. And what do I do when I'm inside? That's when the fun starts. You'll have to slip away from the party without raising the alarm. Then you'll need to find Ellen Wen's office and search her files. Melbourne should be able to point you in the right direction. Then I will see you in solitude after I meet Melbourne. Sounds good. Be careful. Oh boy. Solitude may not exactly like me. Fancy robes. You a wizard or something? <laughs> no, I'm just a man who appreciates a fine robe. All right, and I deconstructed my skeletons out here. Okay, solitude. Here we go. Now, if I can, I, I don't remember if you can bring your companions with you. I don't think you can. But if I can, I would allow Katri to come with me and we could just act as if she's going full incorporeal and no one can see her. Because, you know, you she's a ghost. Against Sky ah, and the people. Shit. What say you in your defense? You caught me. Smart man. Now, come along with them. Alright, well, at least they didn't try to kill me. That's something. You know what? Where's that blacksmith? Seems there's no way. Looking to protect yourself? Or deal some damage? Or deal some damage. Hmm. Let's just sell off some of this stuff. That's all he'll buy for me, huh? Okay. Return anytime you need arms or armor. My forge never rests. Well, hello. I'm not need something, Jory. It doesn't matter how many. True. Times you ask. I may look the part of dashing <laughs> swordsman, but I you might want to rethink that. that of war. You're missing. Oh, whoa! I think I went to the wrong place. Whoops. Take a good look around. Yeah. I'm sure you'll find. So yeah, uh, if I can keep Catcher with me, I will, and just say like she's in the walls or something. New in town, right? If you need a place to sleep. So I'm looking for a wood elf. Bosner? Is that what they're called? Do you need something? Ah, oh, maybe it's this gentleman with a giant arrow over his head. Hello. Lord. <laughs> wood elf. What do you need? A mutual friend sent me. Really? 
You're who she picked? I hope she knows what she's doing. Here's the deal. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The Thalmor takes security very seriously. Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. Okay. Okay, I'll get this inside the embassy for you. I've got to go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. Um... I need my mace. Be careful with that. It's one of a kind. Don't exactly need those two. Let's grab the shoulder pad. Definitely going to need my cape. I guess basically everything I'm wearing. Do I have a potion of invisibility? I did at one point. I still do. Okay. Well, that hopefully should help me um, in the embassy. All right, I think that's all I really need. Thank you, Malborn. Now, I'm probably naked, so let's put on my backup robes and my backup cloak. <laughs> I don't have a backup helmet. Damn it. I didn't think this far ahead, Katria. Let's go. Um, c can I help you? Hmm. Clearly an interesting NPC. Not vanilla Skyrim. La 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 la. Uh, oh, sorry. Just stretching out the vocal cords. We'll give her a shot. Hello. Hello there. We haven't met, have we? I'm Firinet, although my friends call me Firo, or not for short. Although I guess I'm getting ahead of myself, we just met so we're hardly friends. Hmm. Not to mean that we won't be friends someday. Or even today. I'm s sorry, I'm really bad at this. Can we start over? Hmm. Hmm, okay. Sure. Well met, person I have never spoken to. Oh, uh, well, well met as well. I, I mean, well met and greetings. Ah, uh, what I'm trying to say is, greetings and well met. Oh, oh sweet, tap retreats, I did it again, didn't I? Huh. Okay, I, I guess I know that she's going to try to be a bard. It's alright, not everyone can be a bard. Well, I was kind of hoping I could. I know, you're probably thinking I've gone mad the way I fumbled through our meeting. And I really have no real aspirations to become a bard. Never even thought about it. I'm perfectly happy just being Netta the Milkmaid. Lisette, now, there's a bard. She has such a calm and soothing voice. I have lost my interest. Thank you for the conversation, Fironet. Well. I don't even think my character would get that far into a conversation. But both he and I personally have lost interest in that conversation. <laughs> so I'm gone. Okay, let's get out of solitude. And we're probably going to have to hoof it up there. I don't think I have any space or anything next to their embassy that I can fast travel to. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, I need to meet her at the stables. Never mind. Never mind. I have no boots. Let's correct that. I've never really used these ever since I found them. But yes, my boots of water walking. Hmm? Sorry, I was lost in thought. I'm planning my wedding this year. I really just want to walk across the water right now. Have you heard? There's been another dragon attack. Kynesgrove this time. Yeah, I heard. Never mind. I won't do that. Let's just meet up with her. Is there like a puddle I can walk on around here? Oh, I just... No, no, no. Have you given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? Yes, I have. Good. 
I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Here, put this on. Hmm. When you're ready, I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Melbourne smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. I'm keeping my cloak on, by the way. Yes. I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the embassy? I'm ready. Don't worry, it will all be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information we need. Good luck. Did she just take my cloak from me? I'm not okay with this. I now must resurrect skeletons all over this Thalmor embassy. <laughs> nah. uh, yeah, she did. Fellow latecomer to Ellenwyn's little soiree. And arriving by carriage, no less. I salute you, sir. Hmm? My lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this god's forsaken mountain than to any desire to actually arrive late. I prefer to arrive early, often the day before the party, so as not to miss out on any of the drinking. Hmm, yes, I think we should There's not enough mingle. drinking in the world today, wouldn't you agree? Please, you first. I insist. Never mind. Welcome to the Thalmor Embassy. Your invitation, please. <sighs> Here you go. Thank you, sir. Go right in. You want something from me? Here's my invitation. I don't have a poison dagger strapped to my thigh, etc., etc. I'm just doing my duty, sir. Everything's in order. Welcome back, sir. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, I just want to kill them all. That's okay. In due time. In due time. For now, we act the parts. Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Elinwyn, the Thalmor Ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? My name is Gershner. Pleased to meet you. Ah, yes. I remember your name from the guest list. Please, Madam tell me Ambassador, more about yourself. So what to brings you to this... <laughs> to Skyrim? What is it, Malborn? It's just that we've friend. run out of the Alto that wine. Delicious. Do I have I your permission have to myself? uncork the... Of course. I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. Yes, Madam Ambassador. Now that I think My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please, enjoy yourself. has been docked in solitude for well over a month, and with no sign of shipping out anytime soon. Some say the ship suffered damage to her hull when she struck an iceberg, and Captain Safia can't afford the repairs. Of course, she would never admit such a thing. Captain Safia is far too proud a woman for that. Huh. You know, I think I've... I don't know if I've ever seen the general here, have I? My coffers are running dry. I think I've always done a civil war before I've ever done this quest before. I don't know. I don't remember. It's been so long. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Uh, what's my... I need to what, do a distraction? Is that what's going on? Talk to him. Oh, talk to Matt Barn. Okay. Yes. What can I get? Yes, what do you need? I'm ready. Of course. Let me see if we have another bottle of that. I'll be waiting by the door for everyone to be distracted. It's shameful that the dark elves are made to live that way. Okay. I couldn't agree more. By the way, the great Ellen Wen always throws quite a party. I never miss one if I can help it. What brings you to this party, sir? You must be new to Skyrim, or you'd already know who I am. Mm. I have a stake in most anything of importance in solitude. I feel that it's time to put aside the grievances of the past and let peace and prosperity flourish between the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion. I try to do my little part. Besides, just between you and me, it's making me pots of money. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you sound like quite the businessman. 
Not every Nord is obsessed with strength, honor, and skill at arms. A rare few are born with a gift for making money. My investments are my strength, and my wealth is my weapon. As for honor, well, there are some luxuries even I can't afford. Very well, then. There's a likely-looking filly, even if she is an elf. What's... You there! Serving girl! What's your name, dear? Ah, Brailer, sir. Do you need a drink? Something to eat? No, no, that's not what I'm interested in right now. Oh, boy. I just wanted to get a better look at you. I like what I see, my dear. And believe me, I don't say that to everyone. I'm very discriminating when it comes to the female form. Ah, uh, thank you, sir. Was there anything else I could do for you? Oh, not at the moment. Maybe later. Don't go far. What a charming yes, man. I want to take this as an opportunity to meet my enemy. <sighs> Just between us. I've got more I hope point. you're enjoying yourself. Do you host these parties often? Quite often, yes. The only thing I enjoy more than luxury is sharing that luxury with those who can appreciate it. But I also enjoy learning the latest gossip and hearing the most intriguing rumors. Stuck in Windhelm, poor fellow. Don't worry, Orthus. I can see you spared no expense. Of course not. One does not gather the most important men and women of Skyrim and then serve them cheap ale and stale bread. This is only a taste of the benefits that accrue to those that align themselves with Thalmor interests. And what does your position as the Thalmor Ambassador involve? One of my main duties is to foster a better understanding between the Aldmeri Dominion and the people of Skyrim. I also oversee the activities of the Thalmor Justicias throughout Skyrim, although this has been most unfortunately disrupted by the war. Of course, she would never admit so. You know, I've never quite understood exactly what do the Justicars do. The Thalmor Justicias are so are justicia, often whatever. misunderstood. Our primary goal is to preserve the peace between the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion. The worship of the false god Talos contributed to the unfortunate friction that led to the Great War. Following the Great War, the White Gold Concordat set out the terms for peaceful coexistence between the two powers. The Empire and the Dominion agreed that the worship of Talos was a relic of the past and must be eliminated in the interests of peace. But I'm sure you didn't come here for a lecture on high politics. Thank you for your time. Do enjoy yourself. We must keep faith in ourselves and the Divines. Did you One. know Vittoria is the Emperor's cousin? Best stay on her good side. One more person I would like to talk to. One thing everyone can agree on. This Do I know you? I, I didn't think so. Hmm. <laughs> sure. This must be awkward for you. That's putting it mildly. The Thalmor invite me here to remind everyone that they can tell the Empire what to do. I would refuse, but I don't want to jeopardize the peace between us. Is my star? And what do you know of our host? Elinwen is a formidable woman. She lacks for neither cunning nor ambition. Now that I think of it, she would have made a fine Imperial general. Thank you for time, General. Keep an eye on these Thalmor. You never know. I know just what you mean. Okay, let's what talk does this drunkard. Do to get a drink around here. You look thirsty. My friend, you are very perceptive. I have a powerful thirst that cannot be slaked, and none of the waiters will bring me a drink. Ellen Wynn must have told him to cut me off. That rigid bitch. <laughs> Afraid I'll cause another scene, I suppose. Uh, okay. Everything is splendid. Thank you. I need another drink. Here you say so. I wonder, is this gonna work? Yeah. Well, here is a drink, my friend. Ah, the one generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles. 
If there's anything I can ever do for you, do not hesitate to call upon me. Actually, there is something you could do for me. Wonderful. I can begin to repay your generosity immediately. Say on, friend. I need you to cause a scene. Just get everyone's attention for a few minutes. Is that all? <laughs> My friend, you've come to the right person. You could say that causing a scene is somewhat of a specialty of mine. Hmm. Stand back and behold my handiwork. Attention everyone! Could I have your attention please? I have an announcement to make. I propose a toast to Ellen Wynn, our that? mistress. What are you doing? I speak figuratively, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Nothing could be more unlikely than that someone would actually want her in Damn. their bed. Although, most of you are already in bed with her. But again, I speak <laughs> figuratively, of course. Of course. Fine, fine. Get your hands off Let's go. Me. Let's go. Before anyone notices us. I like that guy. Wouldn't want to offend our Let me do the talking. So far, so good. Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. Yes. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. Just stay close and let me do any talking. Got it? Follow me. Who comes, Malburn? You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. It's been a rules, is it, Savani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. <laughs> Your gear is in that chest. Because she's in there, moon the door sugar. You. Don't screw this up. Catnip. Come on. Wait if someone misses. Apart. Alright. Cool. We're both dead. And with no yes. Some say the shapes of the damage to her home. Okay, so I'll just go in here now? I've got to get back before I'm missed. Let's try this potion. Oh. Brian, I didn't make that one of the necessities. Ah, oh, damn it. Shoot. Well. Crap. She would never admit such. Did Good you luck. see those robes You're marching this morning? Who are they with? Did you More hear of something? the emissary. Huh? Shit. Shit. Hey guys. Hey guys. Alright, so much for that. I have lacked the required items. What? Oh. Yeah, of course I do. I don't have any of my bones. Haha! <laughs> Who needs stealth when you can kill them all? Actually, I would have preferred stealth, but... Oh well. Surprisingly, none of the guests even heard any of that. Hmm. Must be a very loud party. Okay. Take the gold. Oop. Oop. Can't leave any gold behind. <laughs> I've spent thousands trying to clear my name. Need to make that up somehow. Oh. Uh oh. Oh boy. Never should have come here. Not an arrow. Not an arrow. Jesus. Okay. Okay.
Ben DeWill should be first there. Never sh Hello, sir. What? 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 He's immune to. There's no way. I must have missed. There we go. Got them all. Fight for me, Thalmor. Let's try this again. Shit, I missed this guy. I'm trying to get all three. Oh man, there are a lot of people out here. Oh my god. Oh shit. Seriously, even with my I'll see you even with my enchantment, man. Jesus. Good. I'll still pop it on though. Um, I have yeah, I have no potions or anything, right? This is going to be up to my, um, my summons here, I think. Fighting Draugr. Let's quick save. Oh boy, that's not safe. Oh wow, they're actually just going. Hmm. I think I'm now fighting every single Thalmor in this place. This is fine. I'd rather like it like this. Oh! Sh There we go. Oh shit. All right, my bend will is back up. Good. Oh sh I'll tell you what, while this distraction is going on, let me continue searching for information. But I need that money. I earned it. I have my own expenses. What was that? That was nothing. That was nothing. Shit.
Well, hopefully the Thalmor outside are still fighting. <laughs> Behold the power of a necromancer. Oh, getting hit by a Yari. Yeah. No, not a wizard. All right. Okay. Where is my? There it is. Watch out for Thalmor. Nah, I'm not gonna try to break into that. We anticipate a breakthrough in our efforts to uncover the, the party or power behind the Dragon Resurrection phenomenon. An informant has identified a possible lead whom we have brought back to the embassy for full interrogation. The subject is obstinate, but by all in indications is holding back the information we seek. I have authorized intermediate manual and coiling. What? Intermediate manual and coiling. I do not expect more will be necessary unless you feel time presses. I know you prefer to be present for the final questioning. I will inform you immediately when the subject is fully receptive. Two days should tell the tale. In the meantime, if you wish to audit our technique, your expertise is welcome as always. I have placed the prisoner in the cells closest to your office stairs for your convenience. Okay. I also saw a copy, a couple of dossiers. Oh my god. Ah, uh, we probably wouldn't eat Benwell for this. Uh, excuse me. Alright, well that works too. Pardon me, pardon me. Esburn. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. I told you, I don't know anything else about it. I'd like to hear it all one more time. I'm not here to torture you. What? Who? What? What do you want, then? There's no time to explain right now. We need to get out of here. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Come on, this way. I've seen the guards use it to get rid of bodies. It must lead somewhere. Uh, you go on ahead. I'm not done here. No problem. Thanks for springing me. I owe you. Look me up in Riften if you make it out. Riften, huh? Now, what spot are you talking about, though? There's really no need to be stealthy. Ah. Probably that. What the hell? Whatever. I'm just going to quickly see what else I can find around here. And that's probably it. Hmm, okay. Well, considering all the... What? I saw guards dragging bodies over here. Might be a way out. Let's get out of here. 
Oh, shit. Oh, boy. There's no key on that guard. Oh, man. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Where's the key? Must, must be another room. I didn't even realize there was a door right there. I don't think that's what I need. Destruction spells are 20% stronger. I will take that. What? Reanimate a weak dead body to fight for you. Okay, whatever. Sure. Oh my god, what did I miss? I'll tell you what, I think I'm going to end the episode here and I'll just make my way out of this place right now. I'll probably just go back out the front door and I'll have to fight my way out if I can't find this key. It's kind of weird that I can't find it though. Maybe the key I picked up from that Thalmor guy just now, but I don't think so. I think that was just another key I already have. Uh, that's where fighting is happening. Yeah, well, I'll end it here. So thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you all next time. Take care.